going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sinister. Team RG, we in the building, rise and grind. You already know we out here getting it. All right, y'all. This is for all of my people who want to know how to run, like, a 2,000-mile-plus trip. Now, I'm sitting up here in uh, New York State at, uh, what's the name of the city? Uh, Congress, New York. That's where I'm sitting at. I uh, just picked up some ice cream stuff, and it's going to Henderson, Nevada. So, um, let me set my GPS up so I can actually just show y'all what it looked like on the map. And show y'all the miles and stuff like that. So, how I set up for a long trip like this. So, okay, let me turn around. Here's my trip right here. Now... The blue line is going to be the one I'm going to take, which is 2,558 miles. Now, what happens is when you calculate it, when you do pick it, um, it's going to give, it's going to be like 2,559. That's just the um, estimate right now of what it's giving me. But when I do submit to that, that um that blue route right there is going to give me um 2559 so um as far as the tolls I don't got to worry about the tolls night going to pay for that cuz you know we got easy pass right there so let's pick it and then this is also the Ram McNally tablet if anybody want to know so okay well it's giving me uh, 2,558 before it was giving me 2,059. So I'm going to rewrite that on my paper so I can actually just show y'all the breakdown. Give me a second, y'all. So anyway, um, 2,000. All right, look, there it go. It just changed. Now, it's telling me. Here's my route. Uh, let me go back. Now, this trip is a five-day trip. Today is November 30th, and I got to have that load in Henderson, Nevada. Uh, let's go over here. Go on my load. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Right here. Okay. So I picked it up today. And it has to, well, it's saying the fourth here, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the fourth. I'm sorry, correction. It is the fourth. So on my calendar. The 4th is Friday. So it is a five-day trip because remember today is Monday the 30th. As you can see up here in the top. So we right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's giving me five days, right? So this, what I, this is how you do this. You're going to say, all right, it's a five-day trip. 2,559 miles. Divide that by five. You got to do 511 miles. Don't worry about the point eight. It's just it's just five hundred and eleven miles. If I wanted to do it in four days, I would have to do six hundred and thirty-nine miles. And that's how you actually break down how many miles you got to do a day for any of your trips. So, um, right now on my hours of service, let me see what I got. I just finished getting loaded. Sorry about that glare. Let me see if I can take this off. Make it better. If I do it this way. Okay. I got 9 hours and 28 minutes of drive time. I still got 10 hours and 38 minutes on my 14. So, I still got enough time to drive for the day. 
and put a lot of miles down. So far, I only did 68 miles because I drove from the spot where I dropped off at to up here to get this load. Now, let me show y'all this bill of lading also while I'm on it. Now, you see, this bill of lading is a little different than the other ones. Now, you got your seal number up here. The carrier is night, which is night refrigerated, you know who I work for. And the paper fell on the floor. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let me sit this right there. Okay. Um shipper number, carrier's number, which is my trailer, the day I picked up, the year. Um, it's going to Unilever out there in Henderson, Nevada. This is what I'm carrying. Milk chocolate frozen variety. It weighs 16,050 pounds. So, caramel, salty caramel variety, which is 18,080. So, anyway, the total the total weight of the, the load is 36,000. 390 pounds. Now, I know 36,000. I don't have to scale this load. But if you want to, scale it. Just to be on the safe side, scale it. Scale all your loads. But once you get comfortable and you know what weight is good, where you don't have to scale it, you don't have to worry about that. I got to keep it refrigerated at 40 degrees. Originally, they was going to put 16 pallets. They scratched that out. It's, going, it's 17 pallets. My signature, the date, and that's it. And the same papers on the back. So, that's how I'm, I'm preparing, how you get um, your information for your trip. Um, nothing over here you worry about. So... But I'm going to zoom it in just so if y'all want to see what it says. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm trying to get it. All right. There you go. Just so y'all can get an idea like what it looks like when you out here and you're doing the paperwork. And this is the shipper. Star K White up here in uh, Congress, New York. So. And that's it. Nothing on the back. It's just that. And I'm all, I am already sent them my loaded information. And I'm going to put this back on the dock. And get the day going. So basically, that's how you, you do that. Again, you take the total miles of the trip. Divide that by how many days... Um, you got to deliver it. So you got to count. Since today is the 30th. Like like I did here. I picked it up here. And this is when I got to uh, drop it off. So you count. One, two, three, four, five. Run hard in the beginning days. Run hard in these beginning days because it makes these last days easier. That's how you're going to want to run it. And how do you run a 500 mile? How do you run 500 miles? Keep the door closed. To put good miles down, keep the door closed. You know, your, your arm, like right now, my clock is still counting down, but it's not affecting. My 11 hour clock because I still got time on my 14. The only clock that's the only two clocks that's still moving is my 14 hour clock and my 70 hour clock, which is still counting down. Regardless, I'm I, I'm I'm loaded. I already sent that in. I clocked my 15 minutes for uh, loading information, and the only time that uh let me show you the only time that. Your clock starts counting down here is when you drive or when your 14 gets lower than your 11 hour clock. Then that's when you start following your 14. So let me break that down again. My 14 hour clock is still counting down as well as my 70. 
My 11 hour clock is not going down due to the fact I'm not driving right now. Once I start driving and the system switch me back to the drive line right here, that's when this starts counting down. Now, the only way this clock comes down and start counting down is when the 14 hour clock hits 9 hours and 28 minutes. And once that 9 hours and 28 minutes hit the 14, that's when you start following that 14 hour clock because that's going to become your drive time remaining. So that's how that how that works. Now, I've been off duty for an hour and 22 minutes. I only drove 68 miles today. So that's how you understand how that breaks down. So, but this your boy Sinister. Um, I'm gonna bring y'all some more videos with um, the bill of lading, um, managing your clock, how to run 500 miles, and delivering your loads and stuff like that and setting up my route and everything i already got my route and everything punched in over here on my zonar there's the address There you go. Now, this one is giving me a little bit more miles than what my Ram McNally is giving me. But I'm going to follow my Ram McNally because they both the same. And um, that's it. So, um, this your boy Sinister, man. I'm going to get the day going. I'm going to start riding. Put some miles down. And I'll holler at y'all tomorrow, I guess. I think I'm going to record the steps of this trip right here um, and make it like a, maybe like a three-part video. So, I don't know. I'll see how I feel about it and everything like that. But this your boy, Sinister. Stay focused. Stay hungry. Keep grinding. 2016 is almost here. I know a lot of y'all is excited. Y'all getting ready to go to truck school. Some of y'all done got in truck school. Some of y'all getting ready to graduate out of truck school. I'm proud of y'all. Keep up the hard work. The money's out here. Please believe that you're going to have to put in your work. That's all I'm going to tell you. You're going to have to put in your work. And... Yo, just love what you do. This is my passion. This is my dream. I love what I do. Um, and I love being where I'm at. So, I'm going to continue to keep uh, bringing y'all some more videos and stuff like that. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace out.